Welcome back. Joining us virtually this afternoon, we have Susie and Sister Janet, and we are talking all about the importance of community blood drives. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you doing today? Hi, thank you for having us. Absolutely. So we were talking a little bit during the break. Sister Janet, you guys at, at Mount Carmel, you guys have this blood drive kind of every year. And from your own perspectives, why are blood drives like this kind of critical for the community? Well, I think it helps the smaller communities be part of a larger community because our school families get involved and make these donations every year so that we can have more health and life, you know, giving people throughout the year. So I think it's been a great experience. We've been doing this since uh, 2008, and it's been a great experience working with Lourdes. And, and Susie, what's from your perspective and, and blood drives, we see these blood drives happening all the time in the community, but people might be scared to kind of go out to them. So what is something that you want to kind of reiterate to people on the importance of going out and supporting these local blood drives? Yes, uh, I would like to reiterate is when you have the opportunity to donate, please do. Um, for example, this morning we were supposed to be out there at uh, Mount Carmel and the weather did prevent that from happening. We will postpone that and conduct it another time. But it's very important to, to give, especially these elementary schools that um, not only get those school families involved, but it teaches the kids the importance of getting involved in your community and giving back. Um, never too young to learn that. Absolutely. And I know here at News 15, we are doing a year of service uh, blood drive as well to kind of get people out to, to donate blood. So are you guys seeing kind of a critical need for blood right now in the community? Um, yes, not only in the community, but, but nationwide. It, it is still a struggle to get certain types, specifically uh, type O and type B red cells, uh, continue to be scarce. Um, but we have had some pleas in the community in the Cadiana area um, has has responded. Uh, I, I want to thank those that have come out to uh, help pick those numbers up uh, for the use. Well, ladies, I thank you both so much for joining us virtually this afternoon to kind of share the importance of these community blood drives uh, in the area. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks thank for you. having us. Absolutely. Have a, Have a great day. And if you guys at home want to rewatch this and learn more about donating blood in the community, you can head to our website, klaf.com. Stay with us. We're right back after this. But first, let's check in with Adam Olivier.